So I am an exotic plant collector. I collect plants. Along this journey, there is some hiccups, there's some problems and things like that. So I wanna talk about one product that I want to review, which is the catchy, the catchy, the catchy fly catcher, I guess that's what you call it, or catchy bug catcher. Keep watching. So once again, I am a exotic plant collector I'm a, and I have a strong bond with plants. With that said, um, no, it's not all daisies. This is not all roses. It's not all like rainbows and sunshine. Sometimes you get these pests that, or these bugs that come into your house from different types of soil mediums, from plants that you've bought from somewhere else. Somewhere they come in somehow, some way. And if you're bringing your plants inside from the winter, I mean, you know, for the fall and you're trying to protect them, if you're in a climate like I am, like zone seven, and you've brought a ton of plants inside. When, when the catchy, I bought, I said, let me try to catch it because I saw a couple of people talking about it, but I wanted to see what it was like, what it would do, how it would, how, how it would react. And, um, I actually bought, um, some soil from, I'm not going to say who I got it from or what product it was, but I used it on a few, on like two plants and I started to, uh, notice like something was like in my face, like something was like, I had to swat it out of my face. Uh, it was a fungus gnat and I haven't seen fungus gnats for quite some time. So I, I dated back and I was like, uh, probably came on that soil that I bought from, you know, such and such place. Uh, this would be a good time for me to, to unbox this catchy that I have and see if it works because I usually use the uh, glue traps, like the sticky glue traps. I usually use these things right here, which they are really effective um in catching flies and other things that jump from plant to plant so i i definitely would recommend you getting those and, and putting them in your arsenal of um pest retaliation um but the catchy the catchy the catchy the catchy was i i say the catchy is the big guns is the big guns of plant care and and let me let me tell you why it's not that big it's definitely not that big look see my face it's not that big it it looks cool it's super light and um it's easy to use i want to say it's very easy to use there is a standard setting a low setting two settings i i just use the standard setting um i've only used it uh a couple times and um i gotta say it, it was very impressive the sound that it makes is very low key you can run it in a bedroom i don't you know if you like ambient noise you can run it it's a very soft fan and I like the light that it emits at night. Um, most of all, I actually had this, this thing for like a year and I, I just uh, tried to just make a video on it and I said, let me just do it. So this, I don't know if you could kind of see it, it's dark, super dark. This is, this is like a, this is two weeks of catchy working in my grow room. Now, um, these aren't fungus gnats. I wind up having a ant problem in, in my house, but um, I, had, I had to get an exterminator. I got exterminator, got that done. Um, these fine ants were on it, but th those ants, I did start to see some fungus gnats. I believe that I don't have that to show you in this video, but this thing is very aggressive and is very attractive to fungus gnats and flying insects that are attracted to light and carbon dioxide. Uh, I'm not so sure about mosquitoes. Um, it kind of looks like the same light that you would use for mosquitoes, but it's an indoor thing. Hopefully you don't have mosquitoes inside your house. Let me make this a little brighter. Oh, it's bright. So yeah, hopefully you don't have mosquitoes in your house, but this thing rocks. Uh, that's all I gotta say. And that's proof right there. So that's all I got for you. If you want to add to your arsenal of plant protection and if you get like a bag if you start to see fungus gnats in your window or flying around your face pick up that catchy i think i got it on amazon i forgot for how much it was i don't know if the price is still the same because this was about a year ago but it's still going you only run it at night and you only run it at night i put it on with uh i manually put it on but i, I if it had a timer where it would t turn on at night and then turn off that would be cool that would be a cool addition to it. That would be an upgrade. But 
you have to manually turn it on and manually turn it off. It's not effective during the day because of the light, but it's a very effective uh, tool that you can use for, as far as for fungus nets and other flying things that you may find in your house. So with that said, I approve of the catchy. I see a lot of other, I don't know if it's patent, but I used to see other things that look like it and it didn't have the name catchy. So I don't know if it was patent pendant or somebody just put the catchy name on it. So I don't know how that goes, but yeah, if you want to try to prevent and also attack, you know, if you're in the sauce and you got fungus gnats and you got something flying around your, your grill room, grab that catchy and turn that catchy on. Cause it's definitely going to do some catchy, some catchiness and catch stuff flying around. Cause it's that. So those are a bunch of things that you can use. Hopefully this helped you on your plant journey. And if you decide to uh, buy the catchy, let me know in the comment section below. 